We'll have to go really fast with the side by side because that's what they're made for. So I personally wouldn't go fast. Oh. See, that's what happens when you go really fast. Okay, it's still running. Okay. You think insurance? Will yeah, insurance will cover that. Oh, that's nice. You can do a nice quick little burnout. Or you wait for your jacks to go down. All right. All right, we needed some type of action. Okay. There we go. All right, we're going to get up to speed. 75 cruising speed. Say your little kid starts getting up in the front seat while you're driving down the road. And he wonders what the gear shifter is. And he accidentally throws it into reverse. Oh, God, Timmy, why did you do that? All right, everybody, welcome back to Wade Farms video. I did the Beam and G update, I don't know, it was like 2.9 or something. Now it's, er, it, it, give me a minute. It was 0 0.29. This is 0 0.30, took me a while. It only took me like two, three weeks to get to the update, you know. There's going to be bugs and stuff they're going to have to fix, so... It should be good now. I have my Thrustmaster. I don't even know what steering wheel it is. Uh, my Thrustmaster pedals. My Thrustmaster. I don't know why it doesn't say right on it. But the Thrustmaster shifter. It's the seven speed shifter. All right. Now I can hear it. All right. I'm going to go in here. I don't like this. I, I, I like the truck. I just don't want to drive it. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. We might have to check that out. I do have a couple mods. The van. The van was in a middle a middle update. I have played with the van, but I don't think I've played on here with the van. Hmm. It's very tempting. Well, you know what? This is kind of an off-road map. Let's t let's pick the off-road van. All right. Let's get out. Of let's properly open up our door. And get out of our van. Wow, this thing looks. Uh, this thing looks cool. I would say. Um, I like how Beam and G drive. Uh, Beam and G drive added. You know, in this all this interactive stuff. I didn't know the trunk could open on this. Ah, uh, that's a lot of space. Uh, how do you? Right there. Uh, I know, I think, oh yeah, so you actually have to pop the hood to be able to get into the engine. 3.8 liter, that's, that's in the Chevy Malibu, I think. I don't know. Alright, the timing for when I close the hood for the sound is a little off, but, you know, whatever. Alright. Now, I think if I'm right... That's park. Let's just drive. I haven't drove in this game in a long time. Okay, well, the vehicle starts moving right away. Let's turn some lights on. We gotta see this, see our gauges. Is this thing on four-wheel drive? Oh, well, four low. <laughs> I can barely hear it. Got to turn up my volume a little bit on my headset. All right, I know there's some off-road in here. This, like nothing. Wait, does this have a snorkel? I'm not sure. Hold on. Uh, doesn't. Well, that's fine. That that won't hurt us. We're just gonna do some off-roading. All right, little Timmy, you ready to go to school? All right. She's already about already crashed. All right, we'll throw in four low. Oh, all right. We're about there. Got this little turn. Let's keep her in four low. Holy crap, we're already pretty high up. Whew. All right, while we're off-roading, let's talk about some of the new updates. It's been um, 
the new trailers, the new open tilting trailers. Um, there's a new enclosed trailer, which is pretty cool. You can interact with it and everything. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to check that out. Um, there's, of course, you've seen the new side-by-side. -side. We will drive that next. Um, there are some graphics updates. And I think one of the big ones for me, but I don't have a working VR headset. But Beam&G is now VR. I, I really can't wait until I can play VR with it, but I'm not going to buy a VR headset just to play Beam&G Drive with a VR headset. I'm not going to spend $300 just to play Beam&G Drive with it, even though there's other games I can play. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's an ending to this course. I've done this before. Okay, there's a rock. All right, got to find a good stopping place. And we'll switch to that off-road side by side <laughs> but uh yeah a lot of new updates um should run everything should run smoother graphics updates like i said can't wait to try out all the new stuff so all right i think we'll stop here and we'll switch to the side by side all right i didn't know which one to get so i just got the standard one but I could get a thumbnail real quick. That looks really good. All right, we're gonna off road in this. Um, I'm gonna look at the specs. It looks like it's to me. It looks like a Can Am X3 or like a Honda. What are they called? Talons. Um, those doors that are interactable with. So that's pretty cool. Just come on. Eh, eh. No, close. I don't know if you have to hold, or... I don't know how the doors work in this game. Alright, they're closed. Alright, now, is there, like, a reverse, or... Okay, there's a drive. Alright, what what else is there? Is there a sport mode? No? What What is there for this? Okay, the transfer case, we'll lock it. We'll keep it front... front. We'll lock the front differential, too. We don't want no slipping. Okay. Okay, side by sides, I'm meant to go fast. Oh, pfft. I could have actually stopped here and went with it. Well, I had to stop two seconds before the trail. I had to spawn into a new vehicle. Oh, whoa, oh, there's our off roading, guys. We're done with the side by side. No. We'll have to go really fast with the side by side because that's what they're made for. So I personally wouldn't go fast. Oh. See, that's what happens when you go really fast. Okay, it's still running. Okay. You think insurance? Will, yeah, insurance will cover that. See, see. Okay, it still drives. That's that's impressive. That's impressive. All right, let's let's reload back up to the top. All right, we won't go as fast now. We still will go fast. We're like right here. We'll we'll crawl over that a little slow, like that stuff where we can get caught on and. We totally didn't roll off of cliff, but, you know, we might have. We might have rolled off a cliff. I don't think we did, but, you know, it's, like, it's a slight chance it could happen again. It really is. Because I should be better at driving now. All right, like this. All right, that's like nothing. This side-by-side is pretty cool for this off-roading. I've never driven this. I think... That Almost lost it. We're good. We're good. Um, I like how it adds the little navigation too. Like I'm gonna take this for a street vehicle. All right. Let's get some little outside view. I probably will crash, but that's fine. Oh, God, I, I'm not used to playing. Oh, okay. Didn't even last five seconds. Alrighty, that's a way to get down to the bottom. Alright. Perfect parking. Perfect parking. Alright, um, I just did it. Um, there's new synchronizer, so the, uh... 
manual transmission are, I wouldn't necessarily a lot harder to drive, but you, you actually, it's more realistic now, I think. So we're just gonna drive this, this pickup, this manual transmission pickup. Um, wow, this thing scoots. I mean, it's really slow getting up to speed, but it scoots. How, how are the brakes? All right, and one thing, look. See that exhaust tapping? That's that's a really cool thing that I think they added to this game. Hold on, we'll add the we'll add something to this bed. There's a, there's a new thing you can put in the bed of these trucks. So we'll put down the tailgate. There is the gooseneck hitch for for the gooseneck trailer, which also dumps. So we're gonna get out and we're gonna see. A... Yes, okay, I knew it was here. Oh, that's pretty cool. It'd be cool for like loading up cars like role play could be really good Oh, the jack can go up and down too. That's cool All right, let's raise the jack all the way up. We're gonna need it Wow, okay All right, all right, let's oh, what's this? Oh, that is cool. What's what's in there? I really can't see. It was like a like a bag and like a battery or something. That's cool. We'll, we'll close that. All right. Let's put this back down. Let's take our truck and hook back up to it. All right. I don't think this V6 truck can really pull this that well but it's all that i have so it'll work oh i don't think it's supposed to squat that much let me look let me see how much weight this is hey siri 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 hey siri hey siri what what is siri, what is one two hundred kilograms of pounds okay so 4200 kilograms is 9,259 pounds. Alrighty, so we're towing 10,000 pounds. So let's see if this truck will do it. Let's see if I can drive a manual transmission truck and do this. And let's, uh, let's just test out the new trailer. Okay, that's probably not good for it, but I don't really care. Kind of have to... Alright, we're good. Once you get moving, you, you, you're fine, you know. I feel so bad for this truck. That trailer does look cool, though. That looks really cool. I really like the gooseneck. And yes, of course, you can also get a bumper pull, but I just figured I'd use the gooseneck because, you know, the bumper pull is just like any other bumper pull trailer, so. Oh, you can hear that engine. All right, this truck's doing 54. Come on. Oh, there it is. 55. All right. So we can do the speed limit. That's pretty good. We're towing 10,000 pounds of a V6 truck. So, oh, well, a hill. We'll throw her in second gear. Now we don't need it. We're coasting. That's pretty cool. And I want to see the brakes on this. So I know it's not right, but we're just going to put it in neutral and slam on the brakes. Hey, it stopped. That's a good thing. <laughs> We're gonna have to... Wow, that sounds like really realistic. Bed accessory... Where is it? Gooseneck hitch. Alright. Drop the tailgate. Switch with this truck. Oh, that's nice. You can do a nice, quick little burnout. While you wait for your jacks to go down. All right. All right, we needed some type of action. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, that's good sitting there. 
All right, we gotta see if this trailer swerves. Now that's one thing, you gotta be careful when you're telling trailer will swerve all over the road. But we're gonna see how fast we can go and we're also gonna try to see if this trailer will swerve. So that's, that's the main goal. Wow, this truck sounds really realistic. All right, she's hooking up. Now you should never start going when your jacks are moving, but I'm going to, because what's the matter? Okay, and we're also gonna take traction tr control off and we're gonna put it in four wheel drive, not four high, just four wheel drive. Tell them 10,000 pounds. We're gonna whip around because the highway gets, gets into a tunnel and it's just, I don't know. You can't get an outside view, so. I don't see any trailer sway right now. I'm um, have my wheels straight and there's no trailer sway. I'm mean, gonna have to turn so it will sway a little bit. But I don't see any. So that's a good thing. Alright, we are turning. I am turning my wheel. Okay, we're going completely straight. It's a straightaway. We're doing 65. Okay, I'm turning now. Alright. Looks looks oh! Okay, it's swerving just because I'm swerving. Okay, it doesn't like 70. Okay, all right. Oh! Oh! Ouch! Said, f said fuel tank ruptured. <laughs> oh, you hear the tapping noises? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't hear it. Darn. But holy crap, look at this truck. <laughs> the back door still opens, so. Alright, hey, if it'll still move, it'll still tow, right? Come on. What happened? Oh, we're out of gas. Come on, this should run. Oh, holy crap. But I do really like the crash physics in this game. And look, the trailer thingy, the... The tongue on the trailer still stayed on, so that's that's impressive. And this still stayed on with one strap that just ends. So I, it's not even strapped down. Uh oh, I'm stuck too. Huh. That's... This is an insane crash. That is... This is crazy. That's a crazy crash. Wow, it's so realistic. Holy crap. All right. Now, we have to end the video with a good old beating the crap out of grandma's car. All right. All right. We got to take traction control off. All right. Neutral. We're going to rev it. Some smoke came out. We're just gonna throw it into drive. Oh, come on, we gotta get grandma's car warmed up. what happens when you let, let your grandson borrow your car. Alright, we'll do another neutral drop. One, two, three, four. We're gonna throw this thing right into drive. Oh. 
Alright, we're gonna get up to speed 75 respectfully, actually. We're actually gonna really slowly go onto our own side of the road. Like it matters, but... Alright, we're gonna get up to speed, 75 cruising speed. Say your little kid starts getting up in the front seat while you're driving down the road, and he wonders what the gear shifter is, and he accidentally throws it into reverse. you do that? Oh my god. Grandma's car is ruined. Uh-oh. Oh, the trunk still works. It's fine. Never mind. Trunk works. It's still fine. I bet it still drives. No. Doesn't, doesn't try to do anything. So we can keep trying to see how Oh! Okay, it's it's still moving. It just doesn't like to move a bunch. Ah, nah, this thing's done. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and the bell, post notifications. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed it. I really enjoy making these Beam and G Drive videos because it is so realistic. But, anyways, make sure you have a good day. We'll catch you guys next time. Wade Farms.